because we have an important forecast to get through. A lot of people traveling this week. I think everybody in the lower 48 will be impacted one way or the other right. by this one storm that's just off the coast of Canada. We've been showing you for the last two days where the storm was located. Now, this evening, it's not impacting us. In fact, we've got a fantastic evening to head up the Chris Kindle Market up in Carmel. A lot of folks out enjoying the ice rink right now. Temperatures have dropping quickly through the lower 40s, so not too bad outside this evening. Temperatures are still running about 7 to as much as 11 degrees warmer than this time 24 hours ago. So that means right now temperatures mainly sitting in the low to mid 40s. We hit a high temperature this afternoon of 49 degrees, low is 31, so today we'll go in the books exactly at normal for where we should be this time of year. Tonight we'll see our temperatures dropping off into the lower to mid 30s, so another chilly night tonight, not terribly cold. As we go through the day tomorrow, we will see some sunshine around the area. Uh, we'll see partly cloudy skies, I think, as we head towards the afternoon, and temperatures rising from the low to mid 30s by 7 o'clock into the 50s by afternoon, so a couple degrees warmer than this afternoon. I think we can get up to 54 tomorrow afternoon, 56 in Muncie, 55 in Columbus, and the same in Bloomington. Winds are out of the south at 7 to 14 miles per hour. Now, the weather system I mentioned will start to bring rain our way as early as Tuesday afternoon. Notice on the back side of this, heavy snow developing. There's parts out towards Colorado up into Wisconsin that could see anywhere from 5 to as much as 15 inches of snow. And this weather system will also bring a lot of wind. For here Wednesday, we may be seeing winds gusting 45 to 55 miles per hour Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening as it starts to move off to the east. Areas off to the north will still bring the chance for some rain and snow. So if you have travel plans on Wednesday, I want to kind of try to map out where there's potential travel issues to deal with specifically on Wednesday. Areas in yellow showing where we may see some of that with rain, snow off to our north and winds to the east. The area in orange is going to be for a windy afternoon on Wednesday. Some showers possible up towards down towards uh, Atlanta Hartsfield Airport, so there could be delays out of there. Some showers moving in towards Dallas and El Paso. And then also another weather system bringing rain and snow out to the west coast. This is actually a second system that will impact us later in the week, so not the one initially coming in. On Thanksgiving Day itself, I think things are looking pretty good for the first part of the day. By Thursday evening, I think we'll start to see some showers coming in from the west and southwest as another weather system begins to move into the area. If you've got plans to head north on Thanksgiving up towards Chicago and areas north of there, you may have some snow to deal with by Thursday night into early Friday morning. High temperatures around here for Thanksgiving right now look to be in the low to mid 40s, actually forecasting a high temperature right around 43 degrees on Thursday. So here's a busy seven day forecast, 55 degrees on Tuesday with a chance for afternoon and evening showers. Also, a chance for a thunderstorm, not out of the question. It turns breezy as well. Very windy through the day Wednesday into Wednesday evening. As I mentioned, winds could be gusting at times 40 to maybe 50, 55 miles per hour. I mentioned uh, before the show started, if you're traveling east on I-70, yeah. you're going to get fantastic gas get mileage. mileage. If you're, have a tailwind. If you're <laughs> driving towards St. Louis or the Quad Cities, <laughs> you better get that take a gas. <laughs> Give yourself another 20 minutes. That's right. All right, John, thank you very much. As you can see, CBS.